since you may not have your textbook, which is all right, let me read you the fairy tale. There's an exciting boat that can go 24 miles an hour in still water. So the still, you know water is H2O, right? So I'll write it that way instead of water. The still water rate is 24 miles an hour. Okay. And then the next sentence in the fairy tale says, if this exciting boat travels 54 miles upstream, what does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It takes, it can, it can go 54 miles. Can I use the arrow upstream? Upstream, right? Up. In the same time as it goes 90 miles downstream. First of all, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Physically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Upstream means it's going because against upstream the current. Upstream, the current is against you. But you Very good. One variable. And downstream, I'm sorry? You have two unknown variables here. The time that the boat well, is going. Well, let, let, uh, let us see. Let's see if that's in fact true. Okay. And so, in the same time, and this is same time. You, not miles per hour, just miles. 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 Yeah, of course. I mean, how can you go a distance of miles an hour, right? That would be a little difficult, Jared. Okay. So, at the same time, guess what they're asking us for? They're asking us what's the speed of the current. Okay, so find, find the current. Now, Mac made an observation. He thought that there were two variables involved here. Is that in fact so? Well, there's three and two of them we don't know. There are three. Ach du lieber. What could be the three? Speed of the boat. The speed of the boat? That's not well, okay, you're told what it is on a lake, right? I if mean, there was no current, you know it. So, as Adisa just pointed out, if you say upstream, what does that mean to do to the 24 relative to the current? What are you doing? Making it more, making it more divided. Okay, I'm sorry to talk in such mysterious ways. Let's say you knew the current, just like make up a number, the current was five miles an hour, yes. So, downstream you would add, upstream you would subtract, right? Oh, so yeah, right? I know it's distance range. So therefore, since we don't know the current, can we not give it a variable name? What do you like to call it? You want to see? All yeah, right, let's see if it's the current. Yeah. I mean, you can call it anything you want. And therefore, what is the net? Oh, Allison has a hand up now, right? Okay, can you do it in such a way that the audience can follow? I'm sure you can. Good. So, like, you yeah. would also make, like, a chart for, like, a variable for time? You, or you like to, yeah, that's another thing in years of teaching this, year. people like to make these charts, yeah. right? You don't need to, but I am not against the idea of charting a good course. That was a terrible pun. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's say we divide this up, okay? Yeah, people like to do this. I usually don't, but that's just because I'm a pompous guy. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing that. And how would you label these two rows? So What's convenient? Up and up down. And down. Hey, very good, right? And in these three columns, what could um, be in the there? The first one would be for rate, so it would be 24 minus C. There's uh, rate, rate times, times, times distance, right? If you are, it doesn't matter how you label them. Good. So this one here it would, would be, be what? 24 minus C. Beautiful. Um, and? The next one would be T. The uh, next one, T. Yeah. Oh, I like T. Because we don't, oh, there's the mysterious second variable, right, that uh, Mac was talking yeah. about. Okay. And then it would be equal 54. Uh, yes, 54. Right. And then it will be 24 plus T. Very good. And then T. T, yeah, because we're told, right, it's the same time. And then and this is 90. 90. And then oh, let me give, right, let's hear from somebody else, but an immediate handshake, that was beautiful. Okay, can someone else elegantize us in a similar manner? What do you do with this chart? What's the goal of the chart? Um, you multiply R and T to find And then you do, okay, so therefore this could also be written, so tell me what you would like to write, yeah. So 24T minus DT. Oh, well, okay, yeah. so you multiply out. You know what I like to show first? The intermediate step. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you have that, okay? Yeah. Right? And then this and then, So it's 24t minus dt. Okay, so you want to do it first before the other one. Alright, 24t minus ct is equal to 54. Okay? Mm -hmm. And can we do the same with the next one? Go ahead. 
So oh, just no. thought so and put yeah. Annie to that. So okay. Oh wait, let's finish that, then we'll attend your question, yeah? 24 t plus ct equals 90. 24 t plus ct is equal to 90, okay? I think, I think he was thinking of, like, if we could do substitution for this problem. So I think he was thinking of, so like, instead you can make it t equals 90 over 24 plus c, and then oh, that the now t. Now isn't that amazing? That deserves a bow and a handshake.